Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. It is I, your boy Fate. We are here once again with some more Omno. So, we uh, last episode we covered the first two levels, basically the tutorial zone and the first main area, which was basically this whole area out here, the uh, Agnea Plateau. And we pretty much fully finished that one off. So we are ready to carry on into the next area here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and hop on the Altirax's head, it seems here, and uh, see where he takes us. Whew. Imagine we missed that very first jump right there. <laughs> oh my god. He's making my fear of heights. Elevate. Bro, the music is slapping. We're going far on this boy. Oh man. Honestly, there were like there were some rocks back there that were just off to like the left of where we hopped on. I thought we were going there, but we're going the distance on this thing. Bro, he's got that neck movement. That's smooth. Smooth like butter right there. Next stop, platform nine and three quarters. Probably not though. Oh, nice of him to not drop us at a level where we're about to break our ankles. The Apprentice rode the second legendary animal. <clears throat> oh, I see. So the Marula, semi-mythic, AKA a legendary animal. And the Altirax is also a legendary ant. So it seems like as you progress from one area to the next, you kind of are introduced to a new legendary animal. That is awesome. I got a checkpoint right here. Funnily enough, it's supposed to just be like a little ring downward, but if you look sideways, it's a C like checkpoint. <laughs> Anyways, so let's carry on, move along from that. Uh, what's going on here? We got some Bat mushroom tips going on over here. Uh, take that as you will. Uh, but we got some mushrooms in this area, so those are new aesthetically. Um, oh, we can activate this wall. Bam! So this is the second wall we've activated now? The teaching. I don't remember what the name of the other one was. It was called the... I, oh, I want to say it was the lesson or something. I don't know. Uh, I can't remember but that's okay you guys can probably tell because if you watched the last video and then this one came right back to back then you probably know what that one was but yeah the teaching wall so we'll uh we'll carry on from there we also uh we got a sweet ability we can dash look at that dash with our staff pretty epic sauce right there um man okay this area oh boy oh god Please don't tell me that big boy is going to uh, be doing some harm to us. Well, things are starting to get real, real quick here. We got some, like, giant thingies flying in the sky. The Malaha Plane. All right. There's a lot of big boys around here. There's even a big boy laying down to the left right over there, right past that mushroom right there. Huh. All right. I wonder if we can get close enough to figure out what they all are. Got a checkpoint here. Looks like we got a little bit of energy we can collect off this. Is this a banana? What the freak is that, man? Oh, shoot. We're already ready. All right, where is it? Where is it? Oh, man, we ran out. So we got to find the, uh, yeah, we got to find the right pillar. Okay, let's interact with this early on this time and see what it does. Because the last two areas, I did not interact with this thing uh, very soon. So I'm assuming it kind of gives us a map of the area. Let's see. <clears> hmm. <throat> Yeah, it seems to scan the area for us, and then we can, like, use it as a reference point to find all of the things. Even though it's not really too hard to see them, you know, they're kind of mostly in plain sight, at least in these areas. But I think, yeah, so it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six energy balls around here, probably some tomes to find throughout there as well. I mean, glyphs, rather. I don't, I don't know why the word tomes is so engraved into my brain for those things, but... 
Yeah, we can find the glyphs that sort of tell us a story as we go through here. So we'll try and find all of those that we can. I think so far we've found them all. Hold on. Let me get out of this real quick and look back at that real quick. Um, yeah, so far we've stayed on top of it and we've kept all of them. And I'm pretty sure they um, go towards 100%. So we'll know, we would know if we missed them anyways because we wouldn't be at 100%. Uh, so let's start over here on the left, and then we'll just uh, kind of sweep our way around. Like, maybe this is... okay. Some mushroom parkour. Okay. Meow. Oh, jeez. We're fast, boys. Um, oh, okay. I see. So we're just gonna... Oh, there's a tome right there. Perfect. Look at that just after we're done being epic gamers right here. Chad movement right there. Look at that. Let's go. Perfect. Got the first one out of the way. Uh, let me just go ahead and check this real quick. I'm going to down the audio a smidge. I feel like it could go down just a little bit. So... So it just keeps showing us that the obelisk is ready every time, basically, when you get that. All right, Let's see what this has to say here. Some more wise wisdom words. The light guides me on my path and gives me strength. It lives in everything from plants on the plains to unassuming rocks. The staff bearers learn to harness and control the light's power. Very well. Well said, as uh, as always. There's a don. Oh, this is the obelisk. Sick. This should power me up enough right here, and then we can. Yeah. Eee. <laughs> Epic teleport. Let's go. Sweet. Let's go, baby. Oh God. Oh, there's the shadow of the bird. I thought it was like the dinosaur coming over here. I thought he was going to eat my face. Not that I would imagine anything like that happening in this type of game, but you never know, man. You never know. Things could take a turn for the worst at any given point. Ooh. Twi... Wait, Twavelas? Agile, fibrous, possibly some strange breed of flower. AKA a mushroom. Looks like it... I was thinking it could launch me up. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Ding, ding. Whoa. Jeez, man. I'm not dizzy at all after that. What is this thing? This thing is absolutely adorable. Lambellas? What the? Ooh, okay. So, like, the, the wildlife are kind of, like, can you use them? Oh, so they'll launch us directly wherever. Okay. Let's see. This guy is right in prime position here. Launch me up there, big boy. Oh my god, look at that. First try, literally first try that I attempted to do it in the right spot. And three for three already. Wow, those uh, those end level puzzles seem to be getting more and more intricate every time. Which uh, makes sense, you know. Typical progression in a game. Things get more complex as you go along and learn. So uh, I can get behind that. And we are zooming. Now what is this? Big boy, Cronorus. So we have the Glambellas, plant-like in appearance with a strange but charming way of showing joy. They stiffen up and launch you into the sky. The Cronorus, sedentary, long-lived creatures known to some as, wait, known to some as witnesses of time, intent to watch the world flow by. Oh, okay. So they're like, Godfathers, father figures, like founding fathers, father time. What happens if we go near the big one that's up? I'm scared. Hey, buddy. Buddy. Seems to be docile. I was also seeing if he could step on me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm just trying to like destroy myself in this game but i'm just curious you know I'm, I'm curious what the the boundaries the limits are looks like we have another glyph here not a tome a glyph what does this one have to say 
With knowledge of light and the power it grants, the staff bearers became our leaders. I will rest for just a moment longer. Gather my breath, feel the wind on my face one last time. Okay. So we do have an extensive area over there as well. Looks like we can probably staff glide or use these stairs. Something. Something will get us over there. Let's go ahead and use this map. Oh, so it lights up the ones we've gotten, it seems, which means we've missed one. Or maybe the ones that we haven't gotten are lit up. Rather. Maybe that's how it is. Oh, I couldn't exactly tell what angle that was. Hold on. But it looks like there's something over this way that we missed. Hold on, let's go, let's go scope out the area. Is this guy, oh, this. Yeah. What would I do without that map? So that's gonna wake him up and then, oh, there's an orb underneath him. I was gonna say, there's not really anywhere else that could really be. All right, let me just yoink that real quick and not stay underneath him. Even though I do kind of want to sit there and wait and see if he crushes me, but we'll, uh, we'll pass on that. We'll pass on that for now. Whoops. That's not what I wanted. There we go. So now we're at four of those and we have two more way off to the eastern side of the map to go collect. We have one right there. It looks like we could... Well, actually, I don't think these sh launch us up. Hello, I'll have to find one of those other things to shoot us up. Well, maybe he'll pop us up. I don't know. Either that or we parkour from here. Can we climb up around the back side of this? Yeah. And I don't think I'm trusting that back there. This guy will launch us up though, who knows? Come on, buddy. Do it. Woo! Now send us to the sky. Oh. 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 Crap. Um. Oh, there's the tome. Oh, we can. Looks like we can parkour right here, actually. It's a glyph! Dang it, man. I gotta drill that into my brain. <coughs> the light lives in every animal and every stone, and the old staff bearers learned to harness it. The teachings of the light were passed from generation to generation and the staff bearers brought balance and prosperity to the world. So it is just basically the light. It is not essence, it is not energy, it is just straight up the light. Okay, very well. Enough said. Um, hardcore parkour. All right. See, yeah, it would have been a bad idea if I tried to go underneath down there. That would have, would have spelled bad news. Probably me falling off the edge. Hey, all right. What does that bring us up to percentage-wise? 89. So there's a sneaking suspicion that tells me that I cannot make this gap. Um, no, that's not what I'm trying to say here. But um, there's probably a glyph and that orb over there. I feel like 11% is a lot to get out of one thing here. So let's just, uh... Ooh, okay, that was scary. Nailed it, nailed it. Perfect. Um, so yeah, let's be on the lookout for a glyph here. See if there's one kind of hidden behind the rocks. Or maybe we interact with a couple of things. Like we probably activate the puzzle, which will give us some percentage, and then we get that, which gives us the rest of the percent. Let's see. This should power all these up. And we got some bouncy boys. Another sweet puzzle going on. And let's just scout this last little area over here to see if there's anything going on. Um, all right, looks like we're clear. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and solve this masterpiece of a puzzle. So let's see, launch pad, get up the stairs, go over there. Okay, I think I've already got this sorted out. Big brain, three million IQ. Be the is. 
Uh, how how far can we dash? We should probably go up and dash there, and then from there, dash to that. Now with this, we need it to be. Okay. Nice. I think that's perfect. We can bippity boppity boop. And then it looks like we should go once this way. Alright, I think. This should be good. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. Ooh. Okay, yeah. So since we can jump from the flat pieces and then also use our dash, from there we can get some more distance like that. So we could just... Boop. There it is. Is that 100%? Hey, I was mistaken. Plains Master, the Malaha Plane complete. And now this will take us back. There it is. Oh, 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 oh. Beautiful. Beautiful bridge. Man, I really like these mushroom thingies, actually. These are cool. Oh man, you look so cute. Did we miss any entries? Doesn't look like we missed any entries. There's no gaps, which leads me to believe we got all the entries. And maybe those play into the 100 percentile as well of uh, of an area. Who knows? All right. So let's do this final puzzle here now. Looks like we need to siphon some energy from here. Take it over here. Oh, wait. Hmm. Uh, we'll see. We'll figure it out. But... I'm being looks like we can do some staff action here. I'm assuming that will stay. I don't think there's a timer on that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this back over here now. Okay, we already have some essence over there, so that's fine. Leave that there to keep the jump pad going. Now what we'll do is go over here. I don't know what this does actually. <laughs> Here, let's let's go ahead and move this or figure out what this does. That oh. Hmm. Okay. So. Um. Maybe we. Well, if we can make it up there, we don't need that. We need to be able to make it up to that point though. Wait. Oh, this is easy game. Am I even thinking? Like, there's no, there's no reason to put this up or down. This, this thing seems to not matter at all, in my opinion, because we could literally dash over that gap. So I have no idea what the purpose of that is, because we could dash to this. And we can hit this, dash to here. Then yeah, we can just literally jump across that. What? What's the point? Um, do we need light for this? I kind of want to have something to... Oh, we're not done yet. I see. Alright, so it is not as simple as it feels. Oh gosh. Okay, I see it. So we had to raise this bridge so we can take that essence. Now that that is raised, we don't need the essence to move it anymore. Gotcha. I was thinking once I made it there, I was just done. I didn't even take into account that there's another big boy gap right there. Yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll just bring this along with us. No big deal. No big deal, bro. Oh, crap. We can't... Oh, righty then. So we cannot... Oh, okay. Man. Okay, I got it. I got it. Rust. So these are these are actually the complexity of these is already kicking things up quite a notch here. So what we need to do, take this. We need to apply this to this. This is an elevator for the light. So we cannot do agile things with the light. Therefore, we need to do that. 
And now we only need this light in one place at a time. We don't need that at the current moment. So we're going to take this over here and we're going to raise the other light back up and go from there. Because I was thinking like this platform literally had no purpose to be raised for us. Our ability to dash meant that we do not even need that up. So there had to be another purpose for that beyond just allowing us to get across. And that is exactly its purpose, to get the light up there. Man, I'm impressed. I'm already impressed. Only level three and we're already kicking things up to this level of notches. I like it. Hit him with the 360 no scope. Oh yeah. Now we can apply this to this. This should do something for us. Ooh. I was thinking it was going to be like some sweet epic, like, I don't know, something. But there it is. Malaha plane, 100% easy collapsers, baby. Let's go. Give us a checkpoint right here just in case we stub our toe going up the staircase. We got it. Got it done, baby. The Malaha plane is complete. Interact with this. Wong. Beautiful. Now we get to do our sweet flyover. Oh, we're just going over the... Okay. Are we going to go back over the area? No, we're just dipping out to a whole other place. Oh, wow. I can, like, kind of turn myself. I just kind of like to see the natural progression of it. Well, this is some epic stuff, isn't it? We are going really far this time. Okay. I see the light. First time loading? First load screen in the game? Whoa. Ladies and gentlemen. We have entered the snow realm. Once again, we are not dead. We have survived. We have a little buddy next to us, but we look a little bit cold there. Maybe if we had some more dang meat on our bones, man. We are skinny boys, aren't we? Wow. Change of scenery, ladies and gentlemen. We have entered the polar ice caps. And this looks very intriguing. We've left the forest region and into the ice mountain region we go. But we go into the Ice Mountain region next time. For now, we will wrap things up there. Seems as if the levels are starting to uh, kick things up a notch with their puzzles and their uh, amount of collecting to do within them. So uh, we'll probably uh, we'll probably separate them into uh, individual level episodes probably going forward from this point. Uh, unless there's random short ones or some different types of things like that. But uh, for the time being, I think this is a good spot to wrap that one up right there. And uh, there we have it. Episode 2 of our epic journey in Omno is complete. So well, uh, once again, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on the notifications if you guys are interested in future videos. But until that time does come, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed and uh, have a good one. Until we meet again, bye-bye. <laughs>